Yeah, okay, so thumbnail was a little clickbait, but Brawl Stars ruined challenges. Okay, let me explain. So, challenges, like the name implies, are supposed to be, well, challenging. And with the new Unlimited Lives feature, that seems to be um, taking place in most challenges, they are no longer challenging. And I'll give you a few reasons why that's bad. Okay, so number one is that literally in this playthrough, I'm literally completing quests. And in challenges, which again are supposed to be challenging, this is supposed to stretch your skill and, um, and make it difficult to win. And being able to just complete quests like this is just not okay because um, I should not be able to very easily progress my account for no reason and just play whoever I want and still be able to and, and not even worry about losing the or, 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 or losing the challenge and so um, that brings me right into my next complaint which is the rewards are no longer exclusive. I always loved challenges so much only because I was able to get exclusive rewards that people that weren't as skilled would not be able to get. But now there's no real sense of reward in the challenges besides the progression. But then even that everyone else is getting. So. I just don't find it useful or meaningful or fun anymore to fight for these cosmetic rewards. I mean, I'm still going to do it because I'm a collector and I'm weird, but I mean, I'm, I, it's not as fun anymore. And finally, well, I have a couple more reasons, but um, one of my favorite parts of challenges was logging on to a Discord call with Mirage and just planning out our strategies and who we were gonna use and playing with Shadow and Mirage and being able to conquer the competition with a specific strategy. But now it doesn't matter because there's no risk in losing because with unlimited lives, there is no risk, uh, risk reward factor. And, um, and let me just say, I like what they did originally with the original unlimited lives challenge for April Fools. That, was very simple and um, and I liked that because it put you at a disadvantage initially with not being able to play with teammates but now being able to play with teammates and not being able to get the specific rewards um, uh, by fighting for them whereas ev and now everyone can get these specific rewards it, it's just lost its touch and it's fun one of my least favorite things was when I used to play Clock Royale consistently before it came completely pay to win, was completing challenges. And even, I was even willing to spend gems on them because of the exclusive rewards. And, um, and they pretty much removed that with all their casual play challenges. And, um, and I know Brawl Stars says that they won't do this for all of the, for all of the challenges in the future. I mean, obviously championship challenge, but, um, but I'm thinking, um, I, I'm pretty sure on their, on their Twitter page they said that um, that they would not uh, be doing unlimited lives for uh, specific mode challenges, um, which I appreciate. But also, I don't know how true that is anymore because in this, the, the challenge I'm playing right now is a specific heist game mode challenge. And so I don't know how, how much merit there is to that because, I mean, that they said that, but at the same time, I don't know what to believe anymore. Um, so, I hope they don't do any more, really. And, uh, and yeah, that just took away the luster and the fun. But, uh, yeah. That is the end of the challenge. That was actually pretty good timing. And, uh, yeah, that'll about wrap it up. So, uh, Christ is King, and I'll see you later.